Welcome back everybody to Pop Culture Conspiracy. I'm your host T, how are we all doing today? And in this video, I'm gonna be talking about how I think Beyonce's reign as queen is over. I definitely feel like a humiliation ritual is in the works for her and Jay-Z. And I have a few topics that I'm gonna hit on. Um, first, I'm gonna hit on the Grammys. I'm gonna hit on some of the new songwriting allegations. Um, everybody is looking for her son, Sir. He's MIA. We haven't seen him in a minute. And her hair care line has dropped today. Also, happy birthday to Rihanna because we all know the uh, real the real reason why she dropped today is to try to shade Rihanna on her birthday. But you know what I'm saying? Just petty ish, petty music industry ish. But let's go ahead and hop into it. Um, thank you for watching. Please like, share, and subscribe. And let's talk in the comments. Okay, I'm gonna start off with the Grammys. The Louis Vuitton black and white checkerboard outfit that Beyonce wore was clearly Illuminati symbolism. If you've been studying occult science, you know, for maybe even three to six months, you quickly find out that the black and white checkerboard is a symbol of Freemasonry. And what that's rooted in is psychological mind control through the belief of race. It's black versus white. Helter Skelter, which is a concept that Charles Manson was speaking about. And once you do your research on Charles Manson, everything he had going on, yes, it was, you know, a cult. It got very, very occult um, with him. And he knew a lot of things, you know, that were going on in the world and a lot of psychological plays that were being ran and kind of come off like a CIA agent or may have been affiliated with the CIA in some type of way. So... I'm just saying, this is what this black and white is about. Don't be fooled. That outfit was very strategic, very intentional, just like that white blonde wig. Just like her parading around bleached to the gods is intentional and strategic. It's a psychological play. I'm not kidding. Because everybody knows Beyonce is bleaching her skin. It is mad obvious. But yet they continue to play in your face like they are so pro-black as she goes even lighter with her hair and all this other BS, like it's so obvious. It's so obvious that what is Beyonce trying to do? Be white. But this is the same person that told you to appreciate your brown skin. See what I'm saying? This is a psychological play. Please stay woke. Do not be fooled. Just like with Jay-Z running around talking about, oh, you know, she, she don't have album of the year. Your wife don't write her own music. The truth is your wife is a clone. That's what it's really, really reading as. And I've been telling you all that for the longest time. They didn't clone this girl. It's so obvious. She can't speak without damn cue cards. And all she do is stand there and smile. Don't have an opinion about anything. I'm so sorry. I don't think there is one person on this planet that is just that effing unbothered. It's like Beyonce is a walking Xanax. Something in the milk ain't clean and everybody is starting to notice it. Everybody is starting to notice it. But see, with y'all messing up, y'all keep thinking everything is Jay-Z fault when it's that mama that's doing it. But we're going to get on Tina later. But Jay-Z sitting there talking about some, oh, she don't have album of the year. Jay-Z, you are known as a writer. You are known as somebody that, you know, wrap your butt off. Shouldn't, shouldn't you be going up, try to fight for yourself for album of the year? And again, when it comes to your wife, your wife don't write her own music. And now she getting sprayed by another songwriter who can speak up and come to find out everybody who working with your wife got NDAs. And them girls been saying that your wife don't pay her writers well. They been saying people over there in Parkwood, you know what I'm saying, be getting fired down. They be overworked, underpaid. I be hearing the tea. The internet tea is out there. Them gossip blogs be speaking about how your wife be running around Hollywood. So, boy, please, miss us with that goddamn political-ass, boule-ass nigga speech. Because that's what that really was. The Carters, they are them, they are your quintessential Jack and Jill boule Negroes. They sit and they play like they are just so black, so black power, so pro-black, you know, black lives matter, all this other foolery. But, you know what I'm saying? It's just like, okay, well, how'd you get your money then? Oh, selling out your people? Selling out your people? You know, when you really do the research behind it, these people really be, you know what I'm saying, white supremacists, they damn self. And that be the T. 
So just peep game. Like, Beyonce, you don't be writing your own music and you don't be paying people. And that's why your music suck lately. I'm going to get on your ass. I don't care. Come on, Beehive. Let's, let's duke it out. Because I'm going to have people in my comments who going to follow up behind me. I got, please, you, you got on army, but so do I. Because Beyonce, your music haven't been hitting in a minute. The last, the last stuff you was even sounding decent on was that damn album um, that you did for Disney, that, that, that Black is King. That was the last stuff you had. And the truth is, none of that was you. That's why it was good. <laughs> That's why that's why the album hit. It was all Afro beats. Afro beats. Let me shout out to the Afro beats people. They make good ass music. They music tend to just hit. Okay, you knew what you was doing going over there to Africa and stealing like you tend to do with your light skin ass running around again, running around in a blonde wig trying to sell less hair care products. You was a mess. And as far as your man. He a hot ass and that's too. Running around in a damn dread wig. His damn self. I'm so over the Carters. Beyonce, sit yourself down. You know you don't need no damn album of the year. You, you see, let me tell you, you already got a bunch of Grammys for stuff you ain't never did. The truth is, your ass got that Grammy for performing Savage with Megan Thee Stallion when you really didn't even perform it yet. You didn't perform, um, you didn't really earn that Grammy, Beyonce, until you took um, Megan out on the Renaissance tour with your sorry ass. Other than that, you just be, you got all these Grammys for whatever, for whatever, for stealing and doing whatever the hell else, but you just wanna, you just want this album of the year just for your ego. Go sit yourself down, and that ego is what, is, is what people are tired of. That's what people are starting to drag you for. People are dragging Beyonce online for that Grammys foolery. They dragging her for that because she's showing her hand. Her and her mama is showing their hand. Her mama online attacking the Jacksons like, like you and your daughter don't look up to them. You better sit yourself down, Tina. And as far as Beyonce, yes, you, that ego, all that witchcraft that y'all been doing over the years, all that glamour magic y'all been doing over the years, it's starting to get exposed. Like, come on now, I'm not playing with y'all. Like, Beyonce, I be seeing what you doing. Like, you not slick. You not slick. Like, okay, let me move on to the hair care products because I done already dragged her behind her music and the Grammys. Let's talk about um, Sacred. Beyonce is not going to do well. You, once again, are sinking money into another failing business. Everybody online is talking about how they're not buying it. I've been making videos telling you I'm not buying that ritual mess. I'm not putting that shit near my head, Beyonce. You play too much. Again, where is your damn natural hair? Girl, where is your voice? What, can you talk? Everybody is saying the same thing. Let's see, let's see you do a product demo. Let's see you actually show us your real hair. You're not, you're not fooling me. You're not convincing me, making me believe that that's you really walk around. That platinum mess you walk around in is really your hair. We know you wigging it down. So show us your real hair. Let's see how you go from, let's see, let's see what kind of dye you use. Let's see, let's see how they really moisturize your hair, your routine, how they wrap your shit, how they braid your shit, how your hair look when they wash it like Beyonce we've never seen you do anything <clears throat> we don't get no back uh, stage footage no behind the scenes footage no more like we don't we don't know nothing about what you be having going on you don't be do you are the only celebrity who think they too good to go up there for Vogue and do the beauty and do the 73 questions you don't be doing the get ready with me routine with Harper's Bazaar and Vogue you think you too good for that and see that ego of yours is what's gonna break your ass because you do too damn much. I'm not buying nothing from you. You and your witchy ass mama can keep your hair care products. I'm not playing with none of y'all. Like if Beyonce, if, here's the tea. If you really wanted to do something that made some damn sense, you would have released um, a hair care product specifically for blondes or black blondes, but that would still require, if you really wanted to do something, that would, but that would require, again, you letting us in a little bit to your life and your beauty routine. And again, what colors are you using for your blondes? How are they blending your blonde? You are known for blonde hair. You, and with the B and Beyonce and blonde, you should have did something specifically for black blondes. There are a lot of legendary black blondes in the music industry. Misa Hilton, um, Mary J. Blige. That is like the number one besides you with all of this blonde hair. Nene Leakes be doing the blonde. Like they got a lot of black women who have committed to blonde hair. Beyonce, you need to damn think. Oh, but you can't because you a clone. 
and you you damn bought it out. Like that's the real tea. You're talking about some shaking ritual vessel, girl. Buy not buy no shaking ritual vessel to play with you and your damn mama. While y'all do witchcraft on the people, you play too much. So, girl, keep that. It's so obvious that you see Rihanna as competition. I'm for real. Everybody know that. Everybody know that she that she competing with Fenty on the low. Rihanna selling products. She's able to retire. Now you're trying to sell products so you can stop touring so much. Girl, bye. When you leak that girl damn album. And that, you know what I'm saying? And it's like your karma is, the, is about to be this failing hair care line. Your karma was already that failing Adidas. It's starting to come to the light. Because, see, I'm one of them people. I was a big uh, Beyonce fan for a while. You know, I like Rihanna, but I always preferred Beyonce over her. But, see, now I'm starting to see your ass is real. You, you evil, ho. You evil. You be out here doing little stuff. You one of them petty little catty-ass industry chicks. Because look at how you move. Why is you sitting up there trying to compete with Taylor Swift in some mess? But let me tell you, y'all, don't feed in with that. Because I've had to even check myself. That mess with Taylor Swift and the Grammys and album of the year and the racism, that it's election year. The Carters are puppets. Don't let them fool you. Don't let them psyop you into that mess. Like, for real. That's nothing but, again, Illuminati answers to Freemasonry. But as I, di di as I digress... Beyonce, you feel it seems like you have a you have this comp competitive spirit about you with other with other chicks in the industry. Whether the mess with Taylor Swift is you really being jealous or or, or if it's Illuminati antics, which I think is really Illuminati antics. At the end of the day, it's coming off like you're competitive and like you jealous, like you out here making country music that nobody's going to buy. Once again, it's going to be another flop. You know what I'm saying? So. Like, girl, what is you really all doing it for? You need to retire. And I know she don't want to hear that. But you do. It's your time is over, boo. Your queen, your reign as queen is over. You have, you know, definitely solidified yourself as that girl in the game. Okay, you good. We not buying these witchy hair care products. And we don't want to hear you yodel over damn... <laughs> Um, you know, country beats and hi-hats and guitars. Like, you can really cut it out. You can really cut it out. We told you we like R&B music. That's what you need to be doing. And, you know what I'm saying, just doing something that, again, if you, you could have did a hair care product line, but that would require you to actually have a personal brand and for you to actually have a personality. And I told your ass, I just gave you some free games. So cut me a goddamn check. And what's even sadder is Beyonce, you went over a decade without being on the cover of Essence until you needed to sell these raggedy ass products, which is again, you didn't want to go over there to Essence because you thought you was too good. Just like how you don't be wanting to go to the BET Awards and any black award shows because you think you're too good for that. Because you and your husband are low key white supremacists. Like, you know, here you go on the cover of Essence and like somebody said, like, where is Solange? Don't she actually wear her black natural hair? Meanwhile, you want to cover of as I'm trying to sell us hair care products in a blonde wig, in a white woman's blonde wig. You look a fool in a mess. And that's why I'm not fooling with your ass. Like you and your mama. And I'm like, is it your shoe or your mama's shoe? The way she run around, you know what I'm saying, getting solo shots. Like I'm telling y'all, y'all keep thinking that Jay-Z is the monster. And I'm not saying he not. I'm just saying that mama hers is a mess too, child. Like that both that essence shoot really proved it. And it's just like, no, you wanna be over there all over, you know what I'm saying, with them white girls so bad. Sell them white girls that product over there at Vogue. Oh, but you can't hide huh? because you want us to buy that bullshit. I'm not playing with you, Beyonce. I see straight through you. Let me also get on, girl, where is your child? I don't care. Y'all not about to get in my comments and, and tell me that I'm um, crazy and that I'm weird for wondering, where is this woman's son? Okay, like I'm worried about this child's well-being because I know their parents are too high level occultists. You mean to tell me Jay-Z's only son that he wants to acknowledge is MIA all the time? And Beyonce's only son, you know how mamas are about their son. You you telling me Beyonce not cooped up with that boy all the time? And I'm not saying that she not, but it's just a little bit strange how he's never really allowed to go into the public. And, and miss me with, oh, we saw him in the Renaissance documentary because you all know that Beyonce is going to be so strategic about the shots. And, you know, she is going to do it her way, which is why we get to see her son when she wants us to see her son because she 
she's going to make sure that the cameras and the lighting and the sound and the audio are all going to be good to hide whatever the fuck is going on with that child. Because it has been speculated that he has something going on. And I'm not here. You better find your, the tea yourself. Because I do not know. I am no medical doctor and ain't nobody about to sue me. But there are rumors out there. And the tea is in our face with the fact that they didn't have that boy at that Super Bowl. Please miss me with the BS. I'm not arguing with y'all about this. Everybody knows the, the emperor has no goddamn clothes on. Be for everything from Beyonce being cloned, everything from her son being missing. And you think it's by accident that she run around on Instagram on Valentine's Day with that Balenciaga bag? And we know how they feel about kids. Y'all better wake up. Y'all better wake up and stop letting these Carters trick y'all right in front of y'all face. Y'all, I'm going to end it right there. Let's talk in the comments. I'm ready for it all. Let's talk, y'all. Have a great day.